Welcome back to Reef and Pondwise. Great day in the hobby, and we are going to start on our filtration assembly. So this video will be covering what we do to get our filter ready for the spring. Now I use this Pond Max 300, 3,600 gallon per hour filter, and the first thing we want to do is get our silicone grease out we want to make sure that we get a good uh, coating of silicone silicone grease on here and what that's going to do is lubricate the o-ring and keep it in good shape during the season I usually do this also when I take these O-rings off for the winter before I store them. And I store them in a plastic bag. There's the O-ring for the other filter that will go on the other side of the pond uh, right there. So we'll put the O-ring in. And that's the canister. We can remove our gloves. Now this part here I like to do a little bit different. This is the spindle assembly, assembly and I like to uh, just remove this portion. And put this aside. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna place the mechanical filter cartridges on this shaft here. And there's a total of seven of these. And once that's in, I take this piece here and assemble that. But what we want to do is the best that we can line up this hole with this hole here. So we're going to kind of spin it this way. And that is where this tube that I just took off is going to go. So the reason I like to do this is it enables me to find that hole down here. I'm gonna put the metal part of this spindle shaft in that hole. And then I'm going to line this up And get that started and that enables me to line up them the grooves on the mechanical media pads I'll push it all the way down and now on this bottom part the reason it's easier for me to do it like this is I can just slip this on, move this over, and line up the tube and keep this in place before I put the screw in, like so. So now that's pretty sturdy. I'll come back and get my screw and I'm going to screw this in the bottom make sure that's nice and snug and we'll do a couple of quarter turns with this and we're good to go 
I mean, that's really how easy that filter goes together. So this is the bio part of those uh, filter, and this goes in the bottom of the canister. I'll set that right down in the canister. And then I like to just pick up this whole piece like this and set it right down in the filter. Once you got the filter sealed with that O-ring that we greased, I'm going to put this housing back in here. And we will put the, the lid on. Snap those in place. And there's the filter. Now again, this is a PondMax 3600, and that thing is ready to go. Now what I really like about this, guys, is it's a capable pond filter uh, that's based on pressure uh, functionality. And when you get 3,600 gallons per hour, which is the pump that I have that supports this filter, you can imagine how clean this filter will get once you're doing your back pressure wash uh, to clean the filter. And what's nice about this one is it comes with this handle and the handle will spin around like so. And when you're doing this, when you're back pressure washing and cleaning the filter, it spins that media around in there to clean it. And all you do to do that is you use this gauge here. So you can see that there's a flow that goes out and that means that your filter is on. So you've got your filtration that uh, is coming through the filter coming out here and then the return is coming in here. Now when you clean the, the filter, you just take this off, put a hose on here open this up, spin this around, and you're cleaning your filter. You can hear that moving around probably inside that filter. So, what I'm going to do is grab my level and take this over to a pre-prepared hole that I dug. And I'll line this up. This will be the intake. take Don't need them real tight, but I will come back here with a, a wrench and tighten those up. And usually what I do is take off this handle and bring it with me. Keep that stored inside so the elements don't get to it and it doesn't get all cracked up. And then I take this faux rock and I'll cover the filter with this faux rock. And then I'll fill this back area with dirt and I'll build a little bit of a retaining wall around this for the season and you pretty much have your filter disguised and ready to go so let's see how we did we'll go ahead and 
turn on the filter. And this should be this waterfall. Once the water fills up in that filter. And I'll come back and tighten everything up. Do one last little walk through. You can see that that full rock needs to be centered. And built up a little bit. So... We'll get back to that. That can of serrate now is filling up. Now, at the bottom of this pond here is where that 3,600 gallon per hour pump is. And that's enough, more than enough power to turn this section of the pond over uh, once per hour. Same thing that will happen on that side of the pond. So got to give it a minute. It's filling up. You can hear the pond working, or uh, the pond pump working. And it should be flowing by now, so maybe there is an issue. And I know exactly what it is. This is why you have to pay attention when you're making these videos, guys. I have this closed. This needs to be opened. And now we have the waterfall. So that was about as bright as walking barefooted in a glass factory. So I just forgot to open up the valve. And when you're uh, doing this kind of thing, guys, you got to pay attention. It's tough to make videos while you're opening up your pond for the first time, but you get the idea. So now that we've got that waterfall going, we've got this pond right here filtering and running through that media that I just put together in that filter. So it's all good. Beautiful waterfall. It's nice to see this for the first time this year. I've had these going for uh, a little bit. That one there and, and that one there. So we're about halfway to opening this pond back up, guys. In my next video, I'll share some of the tips and tricks as to... Uh, getting the beneficial bacteria kick-started and I've got to still check uh, a couple of components around the pond including my lighting system so until then guys remember anybody can build a pond but it takes somebody special to keep a pond and that someone special is you